How's it going everybody? My name is Justin Wiggins. I'm out here fishing the Connecticut River in Haddam Meadows State Park uh, on a July evening with my little boy Quinn. Say hi Quinn. Hi. <laughs> uh, so catfishing is a fantastic family friendly activity to do. It's a great summertime fishery. Catfish are warm water fish, so they're more active when the weather's warm. They are nocturnal, so to increase your chances of success, come out here at nighttime. Uh, the Connecticut DEP Fisheries Division, we stock a bunch of lakes around the state with catfish. You can find that on our website. Uh, alternatively, the Connecticut River is like a world-class catfishery, way underrated. We get fish up to 13, 14 pounds here on the regular. So again, they're nocturnal, come out here in the evening. You want to use some kind of bait on the bottom, so you got to have some weight to bring yourself down to the bottom. Uh, the best way to attach the weight is uh, either a sliding sinker, a sliding egg sinker, or you can buy these nice sliding swivels with a little um, with a flat sinker that uh, that better at uh, holding the bottom in the sandy soil, especially with uh, current and tide that's flowing. Uh, right beneath that sliding sinker on your line, uh, you want good heavy line for catfishing because they're strong, big fish, and there's a lot of. Uh, debris out in the river to get caught on and you're bottom fishing so 15 pounds 10 pounds is good you want a barrel swivel right beneath your line to that barrel swivel a short one foot leader of heavy monofilament 15 20 pound and then you want a hook at the bottom with some kind of fresh bait so good size hooks are size one to two watt circle hooks will decrease the chance of a uh, catfish swallowing the bait getting it down his throat it'll hook it right inside of the mouth and you could put a piece of eel, uh, you could catch some fresh bluegill or pumpkin seed or yellow perch in the river to use, uh, or a night crawler, something that's gonna emit a lot of scent, some kind of dead, fresh bait. Uh, other than that, you just kinda kinda cast it out. As you can see, we got a few rods out here, they're just out there fishing, you cast it out, let it sit, and wait for catfish to bite. Catfish are excellent eating. You could keep six catfish a day per person in Connecticut. There are two types of catfish you can catch in the Connecticut River. The majority of the catfish you're gonna catch are channel catfish. The other uh, fish you might catch is a white catfish, especially if you're fishing Haddam and South. Other than that, it's mostly gonna be channel catfish. Uh, other than that, get outside, uh, enjoy yourselves, have a good time. It's a fun activity and uh, very easy. So hope you get outside and enjoy it.